So on today's episode of Eric's Variety Channel, I spend money that I will never get back from YouTube. More in just a second. Yeah, so today I'm going to be doing some uh, mystery computer purchasing from uh, Facebook Marketplace again. Uh, I'm going to be heading to Philadelphia. I talked to the guy about buying. He has a whole bunch of computers. If I'm smart, I'll uh, put a screenshot in here, but I doubt it. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of computers. I told him I want two of each of a certain one. And uh, I told him I'll take extra cash just in case I see something else I want to buy there. But all I know is I'm heading to a warehouse in Philadelphia. It's about a uh, maybe a little over a half hour drive. But I still need to hit the bank and uh, get money. So I will uh, talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh yeah. When I get there, I'm going to ask him if I'm allowed to film in there. If I am, that'd be great. If not, then, you know, we'll deal with it. We'll see what we got when we get here. All I know is they look like either early i-series stickers or possibly Core 2 Duo. And they had the Windows 7 uh, logo on them. So, we're talking like, and the Core 2 Duo... Uh, beginning of Core i series. Uh, I know that the ones I want are all power spec computers. I saw some Dells and some HPs and stuff, but I'm after more of the more custom built ones, like like the power specs. Even though they are a pre-built, they're a custom built pre-built. So we'll see what we get when we get there. Um, the guy's got a how do I put this gently? A very foreign sounded name. Uh, it looks like a business that went under. And that's why he's selling them. Hopefully he has a desk chair because my chair at home is broken. If I can get one at a good price, that'd be great. But anyway, uh, let me get to my bank. And uh, I'm going to let him know that I'm out and about and I'm gonna to try to be closer to Philly when he uh, when he's ready so talk to you guys in a bit
All right, so when I left my house, I sent a guy a text message saying, hey, I'm not trying to rush you or anything. You know, I'm going to the bank, and I'm just going to start heading towards Philadelphia so I can be closer to where you are when you're ready. So he sends me a message says, okay, I'm ready. Head up. So I then sent him another message saying, all right, I, I need the address. So... Um, he, and he, uh, he, he saw the message, because Facebook Messenger, you can see that he's seen it. Um, I, I sent him that before I even got to the bank. And then, uh, because I, I sent it from a stoplight. And then, he, he saw it, and then I, I've heard nothing. I, I, I've heard, like, that, uh, old, uh, TV show. I see nothing, I hear nothing. Man. Uh, sorry, but, uh, yeah, so, I'm, so I said, hey, I'm just going to head up 95, you know, I'm headed up 95, I still don't know where I'm going, he still hasn't seen that text message, so I ended up coming to the uh, AutoZone here on Aramingo Avenue, I'm like, look, I'll be hanging out here in this parking lot till I know where I'm going, and I'm still hearing crickets, which means I'm not hearing anything. Uh, this is not exact. I don't know why I picked here because uh, this is not the most friendly part of the city of brotherly love. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna kind of hang out around here. Although there is a Philadelphia pretzel place here, maybe I'll get some pretzels. That's not gonna be too bad for my diet, right? <laughs> um. Yeah. So once I know something, I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm still waiting on the guy to get here. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show it on camera, but I'm definitely going to be carrying my sidearm on me because, uh, I'm not exactly comfortable with this location. All right, so this ended up being a more epic haul than I thought it was going to be. I have nine computers in here, and I'm actually going to be going back to him probably in a little bit to get some more. Most of these are these power spec. I don't know the brand. Some have this kind of case. Some have this kind of case, and some have that kind of case. And uh, the majority of these are i5 and i3. I don't really know anything about these. Oh, shoot. I didn't even notice this one has a Cooler Master cooler on it. It has two sticks of RAM in it. This one is what? This one is an i5. Uh, it has USB 3, so I'm going to assume at least a, a third gen. But I'm going to sit down. It's uh, 3.03 right now. I have not eaten yet today. I have some Chinese food here. I'm going to get sit down, eat my food. I got the generator running, so the camper will be cool. Although it's only 75 degrees outside. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go in in a couple minutes. But I want to... But yeah, so I got nine of them, and it was $200. I should have asked him to throw in a tenth one, but I didn't want to haggle too much because he was asking 30 a piece. By doing tw nine of them, it was 22, 22, 22. Well, 22 and then like a repeat in two. So $22.23 a piece. But I'm going to only look at one today. I'm not going to sit there and go through all nine of them. Don't worry about that. But I'm going to look at one. Probably that first i5. I do have one Optiplex. I think it's a 3020. And it's a... Uh, 
i5. No, this one's an i3. So, it'll be really interesting to go through these and see what we got. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. Alright, so I did not intend to do this whole section on my phone. But I managed to come up here and not bring any SD cards for my camera. So, cell phone video it is. This is the first one I want to look at. This is the only one I got in this kind of case. Um, it has a serial number on it. I'll try my best to preserve that when I clean it up. It's got tape and stuff all over it. Um, as near as I can tell... So this one is an i5. And it has USB 3. So that tells me it's at least a third gen. Um, it has HDMI, VGA, 4 2.0, two more sets, 6 2.0s, uh, network jack, HDMI, and on the front, it has two 2.0s, and a card reader that is just stuffed with crap. Um, before I actually power it on, I want to take a look at the inside. Now, from what I can tell by looking in to the side, it has two RAM sticks. And he did say the hard drives were on there, or hard drives were in it, in them. But they have operating systems that are locked out because he doesn't have the password. So, for right now, I'm not that concerned about turning it on. I will turn... I will be turning on and going through the BIOS and finding out what we have. Uh, these, oh yeah, the brand on it is PowerSpec. And it has a DVD burner. These are a bit beat up. They are incredibly dusty. Uh, it's an 1155 board. PCIe Gen 2. It's an H61. And it's dual channel DDR3. Um, like I said, I know it's an i5, but... Uh, so, if these both match, it has 8 gigs of RAM. These, I think, were in some sort of a non-profit company. Yeah, they're both A-Data, 4 gig sticks. It has a rear fan, which you can probably see from here. And, uh... And it, obviously, and it has a Cooler Master front. It, it's a very OEM looking motherboard. Oh my god, this fan. So I will need to hit it with an air compressor and all that. But for right now, it's very cool in here. It's about 66 degrees. It has a network card, but it's missing the antenna. So I'm wondering if it's worth it to try to get an antenna or just get a different Wi-Fi device. Um, I don't have a, aside from the one that's on that computer, I don't have a USB mouse readily available or readily handy. So I'm just going to hook up a keyboard. It does have the PS2 keyboard. Um, yeah. Really all I need is power, monitor, and keyboard. So let's see. Let's see what you can see. I will get you up a little bit. That should do. All the controls are on the top. Um, I don't like that the that the processor fan is not spit. There we go. The processor fan was fan was actually stuck. You know, uh, this is a 3470. Uh, what I need to do is I need to clean this uh, 
fan out so it'll actually run. So I'll be right back. I can't believe you guys would let me do that inside the trailer. It's not perfect, but the fan now spins free. And you guys can't see that, can you? But now the fan spins free. Um, and I did quickly power it on, and it was uh, spinning when it turned on. But I can't believe you let me do that inside the trailer, man. And thank God I got the AC on and the dust quickly subsided. So let's go power this back on and we'll hit delete because I think that's what we hit last time and it came on or came up. Uh, and of course I don't have any operating system discs with me either because I thought about doing that. So this is from 2013. It's an i5-3470, 8 gigs of RAM, the date's accurate, uh, has a 2 terabyte hard drive? Nice! Um, it says boot is that, and just so you know, I'm going to take this home with me tonight, and... I don't know, I might run to Best Buy and get an SSD, and uh, I'll probably have this thing for sale by the time you see the, the video. Uh, hardware monitor is good. Uh, secure boot. So since we, I don't know if any, I touched anything, let's just go ahead and, uh, but yeah, I guess this thing's got two terabyte hard drive. I might just order the hard drive, I might just order the SSD online. Wait a minute. This has a DVD in it. The Long Kiss Goodnight. See, I don't like these ones that make you push the uh, drawer in. So yeah, I could, I figure I'll probably pair this with a monitor that I have at the house. I have a nice uh, Acer, I think it's a 20, four inch maybe a little bit bigger um, 1080p monitor now that would actually go rather nice with this and uh, yeah I'm gonna when I like it when I'm done with the video yeah yeah, we're not going to get their password. Uh, I'm, and I'm not worried about it. So, yeah, this is actually going to be a nice little machine for somebody. And it has this magnet on top. And it says, Fear, Face, well, Face Everything and Recover. I actually don't dislike this. So, anyway, that's the first look. Um, this is going to take a lot of cleaning. I'm going to probably disassemble most of this on the tailgate of my truck and uh, clean it out while I'm here. I think that's probably one of my better bets rather than taking this home. And But yeah, this thing needs to be... Oh yeah, let's see what kind of power supply we got. Rather than taking it home. It's a 250 watt total high quality evolution commitment HEC. HEC 250 Charlie Nancy but yeah this is this is going to make somebody in my area a rather nice computer so I'll probably order the SSD on Amazon I'll get that tomorrow that'll give me time to clean all this up because when I take it home I want to uh, like scrub the front cover and all that and I'm going to try to take apart as much of this as I can. I'm probably going to leave the motherboard in there, but everything else... I'll probably leave the DVD drive as well. But uh, everything else will probably come in, or come out. But before we say goodbye, let's uh, look at this. So this is all right, really nothing to, of note here. Up maybe this uh, big old dust ball. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for today. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.